Alright, so um, it's day 18 and um, I don't exactly know where to start today. Uh, so I think I might start um, a couple of days ago back when I was in Sydney. I um, was starting to take a look um, in a bit more detail at the rest of the way, all the way up to the Cape and even just sort of scanning the entire coastline, you know, zooming in sort of to maybe, you know, 50 k's so I'm, uh, from one side of the map to the other and just rolling up the coastline, um, heading north and um, it was starting to get pretty intimidating and pretty uh, and pretty worrying and I was like, wow, you know, it's, uh, it's so frightening to think um, how far I've still got to go when, um, yeah, when... Uh, Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, the point of the story is um, that my mate Jeremy kind of picked me up and said, dude, don't worry about it. Have you had a day so far in which you um, you thought you couldn't make it through that day, just that one day? Have you looked and gone, look, that's where I need to get to. Can you get to there? And I said, well, no, you're right. I haven't. I um, Every day, bit by bit, chunk by chunk, it's um, it's been real simple. It's um, It's been... Um, almost easy you know it's, it's just you can see your goals and when you can see your goals they're very achievable um, until last night um, man it was, the, it was the first time I got a fright again it was uh, it was funny it was um, I was working out how to get from Yarramalong to Brunkersville um, and yeah yeah the people I was staying with helping me out heaps is fantastic. Um, I laid down a um, laid down a twenty five thousand to one topographic map. Um, they cover a fair bit of terrain with a lot of detail for anyone who doesn't know what they're like. And of course, you know that it didn't hardly suffice. And so we went and grabbed the next one vertically up from it and uh, laid it down. No, it didn't suffice. It still didn't get me to Brunkersville. Still didn't have that on the map. Go and get the third one and um, lay that down. And um, it spans quite a fair way across um, the floor, you know, like a meter or so of uh, of, of map in uh, quite detailed. And um, then finally there was Brunkersville up in the top right corner, and um, Yarramalong was down on the bottom left. And we took a look trying to work out uh, what was the easiest way to get from A to B. And um, at the time, I was thinking, God, I'm not even going to have reception all the way through here. I'm not, not going to be able to pull up maps. I'm going to have to take these sort of, put a mud map down and whatnot. And um, I don't know, it's not going to be pretty. And we spent a good hour or so just staring at it, working it out, making sure we had the right course and, uh, and that it was going to be possible. And... Um, after a while, we, we decided, yeah, we had to, I, I just had to have um, photocopies, which I'm so glad to have. Um, they've uh, basically made it possible, made it stop me from getting lost, basically. Because um, whilst we found um, one fire trail that gets me most of the way, it's a matter of not turning off in the wrong one at certain points, because a lot of them are just not named and whatnot. Um, but... All right, anyway, long story short, um, or the moral of the story, um, <laughs> now that I am, what, 90% of the way through the day, and I'll show you where I am soon, I, um, I don't know, I was just so intimidated last night. I, I felt last night about today, the way I did when I looked at the entire journey the other day and had Jeremy pick me up, and um, uh, to be 90% of the way through today and see that it was, um, really, to be honest, not that much harder than any other day. I've come a stand at about 50 k's, and um, so it's, um, yeah, it's not too bad, and uh, I'm feeling right sore as always, but, you know, that's fine. Um, so to make it through today just makes me realize, like, you know, Brad, every day you're covering three, 
25,000 to one um, topographic maps, like those distances that just, you know, they seem simple. It's just sort of five hours in my head just thinking and the distance just seems to pass. Um, but it blows my uh, blows my mind sometimes. And so I do not have Jeremy here to pick me up a second time, but I think I can pick myself up myself this time um, just to know, just to um, get to moments like this. And so I'll show you where I am now. I'm at a place called Heat and Lookout. And um, that would uh, be Newcastle over there. And uh, I have come from... I don't know, so far back down that way. And Yarramalong, which is actually off in the mountains to the right, uh, which you probably couldn't see, and the day before that in Tumbiomi, which is just well beyond any of that smog. And, uh, yeah, you know what? It's achievable. It just looks insane even from here. Um, staring at it on a map, staring at it for real, it... it some days I, I, I'm just thinking, how did how did you even get here? How did you get up here? It's um, obviously I've done some serious climbing um, in the last two days just to get up here. And um, but you know, step by step, it's even possible. So I don't know. Sometimes sometimes it's better to be ignorant. Sometimes it's better to know every day that just ah oh, just. Get in your headspace. That's where you're going. You kind of got to follow this line. Just go there, man, and um, <laughs> you can achieve great things. But yeah. Anyway, it's been um, a hell of a lot of fun today. Um, awesome fun today. It was there were a couple of sketchy points. I um, running up is Ravensdale Valley type, and that's the name of the road as well. And then um, so glad the people I was staying with. Um, were helping me out scout for where I needed to turn up this first fire trail because where the one, map once said that you know it exists, uh, it actually goes through someone's private property and it's kind of hard to find. And we had to actually had to talk to them, and um, they pointed out and said the one that I originally wanted to go on no longer exists and uh, it's completely overgrown. I'm heading up the other one. It's a bit sketchy. Uh, I'm trying to find my way. Wet as and this time I know I was talking about the leeches yesterday, but. Uh, Today they were nasty as, um, yeah, like literally I was just fending them off. I was flicking them off one foot and they're crawling in from the other. Like they're just swarming in. I could see them all. I had had the leech spray and I was just going at it. And because uh, I'm just trying to stop and look at the topographic map and and go, is this right? Is this right? This gate is not meant to be here. Why is there a T intersection here? It's not marked on the map. Do I go left? Do I go right? Ah. Uh, Get away from me, you bloody leeches, sort of thing. Um, but I eventually made it up onto the uh, main fire trail, and I've been running along this lit ridge slowly, climbing upwards, and now I get to descend back down it um, to a place I'm staying in a little motel I got sorted out. And then I should be able to cruise into Newcastle and hopefully have some rest. Because um, my legs are sore and I need it. Anyway, end of the story. Uh, it took a while. Thank you for listening. Um... Catch you tomorrow.